Hello lovely soul. Today is February 9th, 2021 This is today's energy update and daily spiritual guidance. I tap into the messages and energies from various symbols and sources, as always with my messages guided by the High Council. Comprised of Archangels, Gaia and other Ascended Planetary representatives from other star systems, Ascended Masters, Galactics, Fae, Animal Spirits, and the Dragons. You can find my daily energy report and guidance on medium.com, on my podcast and YouTube. For today's energies we have. Sign, Capricorn. Element, Earth. Symbol, Lotus. Angel number 7. Crystal, Rose Quartz. Tarot card, The Lovers. Astrology. Today's Moon. The Moon is in Capricorn until late 20 p.m after which the moon is in Aquarius. A void moon period occurs from 12.21 p.m. to 8.20 p.m. The moon is waning and in its waning crescent phase. The third quarter moon occurred on February 4th, and the new moon will happen on the 11th. Mercury is retrograde from January 30th to February 20th. Moon in Capricorn a cardinal earth sign. Our earthy sign of Capricorn hosting the moon for its last day before we enter Aquarius, and the six-planet Aquarius Stellium give us the boost to see where we need to focus and prioritize our energies. The Stellium is about a new time of coming together, in ourselves and in the world with each other. We may get boosts of creativity for how to expand our work, business or something new to create. We may be inspired to collaborate with others too entry points of energy are always stronger than the one on its own. Communication, and opening up yourself is the key to your success. Don't hold back or be afraid to try something completely new on your own or with others and off the beaten path of what you normally provide for your customers, clients and what you do to expand your own interests. Keeping things fresh and new will give you and your business affairs a boost. If your current work, profession isn't sparking your light, then it's time to think about what you are passionate about and dive into learning more about it. There's never been a better time to get instruction from the collective than now. With a million people putting up courses in their area of expertise, you're sure to find one that gets you excited. Work with your guides and guardians. Ask them for inspiration and to give you messages, send you whatever you need to keep you motivated creative and inspired to lay down a stronger foundation for your mark in the world. Know that you are fully supported in expanding yourself and your work. Your passions are ever-changing and evolving, just like you and the collective. New slash change slash rebirth is and has been the theme all month. Go with that energy and create a new path that will inspire you and those around you. Symbol, Lotus The Lotus symbolizes purity, enlightenment, rebirth, renewal. This is the perfect symbol to get us in the mindset for the upcoming new moon on the 11th. However, this theme of rebirth has been going on all month, from different angles. The symbology of the lotus flower grows deep in the water and mud, away from the sunlight. It reminds us that we too may escape the dark depths of ourselves and return to the light again and again. Seeking the truth to heal from the bottom up and rise into the future renewed. Buddha can be found happily sitting upon a lotus flower symbolizing the one who overcame the pain of that prevails in the material world and became enlightened, just like the lotus flower which starts to grow in the dirty and muddy water but makes its way through the mud and water to live in the light. Angel Number 7 Via Joanne Sacred Scribes the number 7 is the perfect number to join the symbol of the lotus flower. Whenever I think of the number 7 I think of being divinely connected, opening up and allowing for the sacred, divine wisdom to come through. The following is from our go-to guide for numbers. Number 7 resonates with the vibrations and energies of the collective consciousness, faith and spirituality, spiritual awakening and awareness spiritual enlightenment, spiritual acceptance and development, mysticism, intuition and inner knowing, inner wisdom, psychic abilities, the esoteric, in ourselves, deep contemplation, introspection, eccentric, religion, thoughtfulness, 
understanding of others, natural healer and healing, secrets, myth, ritual, peace, poise, emotions and feelings, inner strength, endurance and perseverance, persistence of purpose, the ability to bear hardships, quick wit, the loner, solitary, isolation, long-sighted, the non-conformist, independence and individualism, intentions, manifesting and manifestation in time and space, good fortune, mental analysis, philosophy and the philosophical, technicality, scientific research, science, alchemy, genius, a keen mind, specializing and the specialist, the inventor, determination, the written word, logic, understanding, discernment and discerning, knowledge seeking, study, education and learning, writing and the writer, evolution, stability, the ability to set limits, completion, refinement, stoicism, silence, perfection, chastity, dignity, ascetic, rigor, ahead of the times. Angel number 7 tells of a beneficial time with obstacles overcome and successes realized. Your angels are happy with your life choices and are telling you that you are currently on the right path. You are encouraged to keep up the good work you have been doing as you are successfully serving your soul purpose and life mission and your angels are supporting you all the way. Positive things will flow freely towards you, and this will assist you along your journey. Angel number 7 suggests that you look to further developing your personal spirituality and encourage others to do the same. Angel number 7 tells of learning new skills, listening to your own inner knowing, and stepping out of your comfort zone in order to further develop and advance on all levels. You have an important soul mission and life purpose that involves communicating, teaching and healing others and serving humanity in a manner that suits you best. You are encouraged to set a positive example for others and inspire them to seek their own passion and purpose in life. Angel number 7 also encourages you to take up a spiritually based practice, profession and or career or heart based service if you are so inclined. The crystal for today is rose quartz. Certainly one of my favorite crystals, and another one that is in abundance around here. The pale to dark pink that rose quartz gives us is truly lovely, no matter what shade of pink. Rough or smooth, this crystal will leave you feeling peaceful come and loved. Tapping in with your heart chakra, this crystal helps you feel unconditional love. It helps to move energy from the lower chakras to your heart chakra. This crystal is perfect for those of you who are working on your ascension, spirituality, healing and connecting with your inner and divine guidance. It will help you to release negativity and blocks about yourself and allows you to integrate the truth of your soul, to delete matrix-based programming and it helps you to see the incoming messages form your guides and guardians through love, without being worried that you are making things up in your head. It helps you to accept not only love for yourself, but to freely give it to others, to use it to heal yourself and others and it helps you to feel the love of your guardian angels, and all of your spirit tribe. The Crowley Tote Tarot Hermetic Tarot, Tree of Life, Card 6 of the Marjor Arcana The Lovers, the lovers represent union, a coming together of the two parts. But in order to do that each half must completely see and know themselves, or it is nothing but an illusion. The putting on to another the projections of what is in the inner, instead of connecting with the other half. Today we are being shown the lovers, along with the number 7 and rose quartz, all together to give us the overall message of divine union. To remind us that true divine union is not about another person, it is about the self. The phrase, you complete me, gives the perception that one is not whole without the other, and this is not true each half must become whole, or the circle of the yin yang can never form. We're reminded by the lovers, that to truly love and care for anyone else, to have that ultimate love either soulmate or twin flame, see my article below. We must first work on taking care of, healing and loving ourselves and coming to a place that we do not fear love, but we freely give it and embrace it when it comes to us. In order to do that we need to look within, get real about our feelings about love. Love for ourselves, others, and how we really feel about love. 
If we are afraid of it, then it will never blossom in our lives. It will be used as a weapon against you, to prove that you are right about love that it is dangerous and something to fear and turn away from. This is why unconditional love is what the Rose Quartz helps us to feel for ourselves, others and creation as a whole. We are able to connect with the part of us, our soul that is pure love. That is all there is of our soul, no matter how or what we identify with. Each soul was birthed through the expression of love, and this is also why we seek it out. The problem is that love gets twisted and the world paints a story around love that has nothing to do with love. Lust, passion, possession but not love. The lovers come to us today asking us to put a mirror up, so we may see ourselves in the realm of love and drop the illusions, stories, and find the truth. It's been a theme all year to cut energy cords to people and situations that either are outdated, people no longer in our lives, or the relationships have changed, and it is especially good to cut cords to past sexual partners. However, any and all relationships current or past hold charge to the people involved. Even if they are relationships from long ago, if there's any kind of feelings within you that are not neutral, or loving, but they evoke pain, anger, fear, etc. then these are the cords that keep you from being able to experience love the way you could. Any cords that are attacked to other people mean that it's energy that is leaving you, and a channel in which you can be connected to, energy extracted from, ideas and emotions sent to you through energy cords. I have put together a new book all about the importance of cord cutting and there's a guided astral healing meditation practice on my podcast for cord cutting. Both are free. Lastly, when it comes to love and relationships in general especially for those of us deep into our spirituality, evolution and ascension we need to keep in mind that only those who resonate with us, only those who will not cause us to lower our frequencies will be the ones who we will continue to have in our lives. Relationships will come and go quicker than ever, and we're to not allow ourselves to get discouraged when this happens. Whether it is friends, business partners or lovers we are all working on our paths and no matter how long or short a relationship is, we need to stop placing the weight of expectations upon ourselves or the other person. It won't take long for people to realize if they are on the same plane, however no matter what each relationship each encounter teaches us something about ourselves, love and how freely we give and receive it. Messages from your Spirit Guides for February 9, 2021 Dear One Today we ask you to tap in with your heart chakra, and begin to open up the chambers where you put your past hurts that are associated with love and relationships. As the new moon and its 11 days through the 2.22 portal of Divine Union approaches, it is a time to release old programs and patterns to allow for the new incoming light codes of time to penetrate you without barriers. Today may not be the day to dig deep, but the day to think about the tools you will use to dig deeper into your history and extract those energies that do not belong in your body of unconditional love. You, a divine incarnate on a soul mission of love and unity are to be the pillar of creation you were designed to be, there in your human body and life. We. Your guides and guardians put you in places, give you the tools to overcome your blocks and barriers, the mazes that humans can get caught up in, the chaos and confusion that is what each of you must overcome. We, your guides and guardians ask you to make it a priority to make time to learn about cutting the energetic ties to people, situations and experiences that take your life force, that still confuse your energy field and keep your chakras from being in balance in harmony so that you may feel, hear and know your own soul and connect to us free of static from outside energies that only confuse your bodies. We have work to deliver tools for you to use to help you with this very important work, to cut the energy cords that keep you from rising in your evolution. Please, use them without delay, so you may take full advantage of the incoming energies. With love and light. Your spirit guides. Meditation. Instead of providing a guide for meditation here, I am being guided to point you in the direction of the updated cord cutting meditation that I facilitated with the direction of our guides and guardians of the High Council. 
It is available on my podcast directly on my website as well as wherever you get your podcasts. The link to both can be found in the description of this podcast. Happy 9th of February, lovely soul, I truly hope it's magical for you. Please post any questions in the comments. Thank you for reading today's messages see you tomorrow. If you resonate with the vibrations of these messages, please visit my website to download my four new and free ebooks. 1. The Essential Empath Guide. 2. What is Psychic Attack and How to Eliminate Negative Energy. 3. The Spiritual War, The Light, The Dark, and Your Energy. 4. The Importance of Cord Cutting with Guided Astral Meditation Practice. Infinite Love and Blessings, Don't Forget the Key is to Create and I love you already. Always and forever, infinity.